Hello everyone and welcome back to Cardiac, the spookiest channel on this side of the internet. And welcome to the next haunt vlog video. Obviously, I anytime that we do Scary Farm or a horror event of some kind, specifically Scary Farm, I use this haunt vlog to talk about all of the things that are going to be at Not Scary Farm, as well as at the very end, I'm gonna tell you where you can find me at Scary Farm this year. So let's get into it, shall we? Here are the things that we know. Returning scare zones, Ghost Town, Gorin 20s, Boardwalk, and Forsaken Lake, cause duh, obviously. Now we are getting a new scare zone that is going to be taking over in Camp Snoopy. So the new scare zone that's coming in is the Gauntlet, and it's actually a return of the old Gauntlet scare zone. I'm so happy that the Gauntlet is going back. Oh my god, that's it's a great idea, and I'm shocked that they didn't do it any sooner, but it also makes sense for the 50th anniversary, no big deal. So I'm very excited to see it. I'm a little sad that I'm not in it, to be frankly honest. I think it'd be really cool if I got to be there. Just my humble opinion, just saying. Now for the returning mazes, let's get into that. So behind Ghost Town, starting from behind Ghost Town, we've got Waxworks, The Depths, Bloodlines, and Darkened Entities. We also have Inside the Park, we have the Grimoire, we also have Origins coming back, we also have Mesmer, hell yeah, here for that. And I should also mention that Dark Entities, it is now, it is final season with Not Scary Farm. Kind of good riddance because I wasn't a huge fan of it. So at least I like the first year. It could have been a little bit more intense and heavier. That's just me. Let's talk about the new mazes. Now this year, there are three, count them, uno, dos, tres, three new mazes coming to Scary Farm this year. I'm very excited. So we have Room 13, the origin story of the Blind Tiger and Goring 20s, and where did everyone get those elixirs and where they were coming from? So I'm very excited to see what this looks like just by seeing all of the graphics and the art that they've shown already. Oh my god, looks super amazing. That's going to be in the Goring 20s area in the VR arcade area. So it's if you went through Trapped during the 40th anniversary, the first year, that's where the maze is going to be. It's right underneath Berry Tales. So I'm curious to see, is the line basically going to be inside of the arcade and we're just gonna get rid of all of the like all of the games and stuff and make a queue there and just have it be the exit for fairy tales and that who really knows at this point but i'm very excited and i think personally having a origin story for the gorin 20s area i think is definitely needed mainly because i don't know um it's gonna be very weird to see a maze there, finally. Finally giving the, the zone a little something to work with. That's just my personal opinion, so I'm very excited to see that. Then we have the Chilling Chambers, which harkens back to the 10 Chilling Chambers, the very first maze that happened inside of Scary Farm, and it is the retrospective. So you are going to be seeing a shit ton of Easter eggs and old mazes that have existed in the previous years, so I'm very excited about that. And this is where we're also going to see The Keeper. Now I got to meet The Keeper during Midsummer Scream, I absolutely loved him, and to see him kind of bring out the horror that is not Scary Farm and the keeper of all things Scary Farm Past is a really good idea, and I'm very excited to see how they include specifically the keeper, because again, he is the, the reason why this exists. We have Sinister Seymour to thank, and he is a more undead, sinister version of Seymour out of respect for the real Seymour. Now, the last maze I'm going to talk about is, of course, Cinema Slashers. Now, Cinema Slashers is going to take place the Dark Ride area, which is the Boardwalk Ballroom. I'm very excited for this one because it is a 1970s, like, slasher film where you get to enter into a triple feature, if you will, of three past mazes, which would be Trick or Treat, Camp Gonna Get Ya, and there's uh, one other one that I was like, ooh, that's wild, um, that all harken back to some of the old mazes, but done as horror movies with slashers in them, and you become the slasher's next victim. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. And then, of course, we gotta talk about shows. So, coming into the big theater, which I keep forgetting if it's called the Walter Knott or the Charles Schultz. I'm pretty certain it's the Schultz. I could be wrong, and I've literally been working there for like nine years. God help us all. So that is where Music, Monsters, and Mayhem, which is going to 
B, I think, super fucking awesome. That harkens back to three other mazes that have existed through Not Scary Farms history, and use that to tell a story, and that starts with Ghost Town, goes to the doll factory, and then sends you straight to hell. The concept sounds super amazing. Some of the, the images that they showed us look super fantastic. <laughs> and it shows, too, we are getting back Le Carnival du or de Grotesque. It is a, the carnival show. Cool. Wasn't my favorite, but whatever. And then at the Birdcage Theater, they got rid of the Magician Show. I forget the name of it, and I feel really bad because I never got to see it, and I'm a little upset. But we are getting an old show from the past called Dr. Cleaver. Dr. Cleaver Returns. So very excited for that. So we're very, we're very, just pumped and ready for it. And then we have the Hanging Pack. Thank fucking God. It's about time the Hanging came back, mainly because it's been gone for two years and it was heavily missed. So, very excited to see what we do with the hanging. I cannot wait. So, here for that. Now, here we go. You're probably wondering, Forrest, where are you going to be for this scary farm season? Did anybody notice what maze I mentioned last who was coming in brand new? And there we go. I'm going to be in Cinema Slashers. I'm very excited. I obviously can only, can't really talk a lot about it. I'm very excited. And... It is really going to be one of the most epic damn things I've ever seen. Although I am going to let you in a little bit of a secret. Unfortunately, the <laughs> the merchandising team of Knott's Berry Farm was very excited to reveal some of the shit that they had for merch-wise and accidentally spoiled one of the new mazes, which happened to be mine, uh, Cinema Slashers, but you know what, go figure. So I'm very excited for it. I cannot wait to hit the ground running, get this thing going, and really just lay into whatever this maze is going to be. So I am very excited. Cannot wait. So let me know in the comments down below what were some of your thoughts about the live stream and the reveal that was going on. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun to watch everything that was happening and watch how they discussed everything. Then from there, let me know in the comments down below what are you excited to see inside of Not Scary Farm year 50. Leave in the comments down below. I cannot wait to see what everyone's thought processes are. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. So, um, so with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Forrest, and I'll see you in the shadows. <laughs>